Elala View is home to the very exciting second season of Win a Home and I'm here to meet up with private property CEO Simon Bray to give us a bit of a, a behind the scenes glimpse as to what has been happening on the show. But one thing is for sure, with a view like that, this definitely is a dream apartment. With a spectacular vista of Durban's magnificent coastline, Elala Views is set within the Elala Ridge Estate in the sort of the suburb of La Lucia. What would you say makes Elala Views the perfect spot for Winner Home? Winner Home, as you know, I mean, it's all about design and, uh, and drama, but it has to be set against the backdrop of prime real estate and property. Elala Views here in La Lucia, uh, it's set against the backdrop of Amschlange, and Amschlange is one of the fastest growing uh, municipalities anywhere in South Africa. Uh, you've got a lot of decentralization happening out of the Durban CBD up north here. So it makes living in Elusia fantastic. You know, you can drive down the road and you can be at work in a couple of minutes. Uh, you've got Gateway Theatre of Shopping, one of the biggest shopping malls in the Sun and Hemisphere. You've got uh, golf estates and lifestyle aplenty with the beach just down the road. Look at this place, man. This is impressive. But you know what? I'm rather excited because you're taking me through a little bit of a, a behind the scenes as to what's been happening on Winner Home. How things been going? No, exactly. It's been going very well. I mean, you can see the guys there. The guys are, are, are busy picking up the drama as it happens in the moment. The guys are working on the living room as we speak. Uh, they're getting paint on the walls. They're trying to, you know, go through the challenge uh, that's been set for them for the week. But they've got to do it with the live TV crew right in the room. So they're getting all the drama. Uh, the moment is being captured, uh, and and this. Is is the kind of thing that really uh, adds energy to the show. Let's talk a bit about to you as a judge and your role. What are you specifically looking for from the contestants? What I'm looking for is have the contestants thought enough about the space as a home, not a mood board, not a design that's going to be photographed for some magazine, but something that someone's really going to live in. Uh, and not only that, something that is going to add value to the assets of the property. On that note, how does design add value to property in your opinion? A lot of people walk into a space like this, beautiful blank canvas, but it takes a lot of imagination to understand what this could look like as a space to live in. Most people like to see how the space is going to be uh, expressed at the end. Whereas overseas, there's this whole concept of staging a home. Guys will bake cookies in the oven to create the smell. They'll make sure they bring in couches, especially to sell the house. That's something that's evolving in South Africa, and certainly design adds to that. To give you an idea of numbers, now this apartment is going to start at between 3.8 and 4.2 million. By the time they're done putting in all the beautiful furnishings and the design elements, this is going to be worth well over 5 million. Well, all the best to you and your team, and I can't wait to see the progress. It's going to be very exciting. For the contestants, a construction site is their battlefield as they transform three units into living spaces that will show where cutting edge design meets style. Well, one thing's for sure, things are absolutely buzzing. But if you want to get in on all of the action, make sure to catch Winner Home Friday nights at 7.30. Whether it's your first apartment in the city, a trendy suburban townhouse, or that dream family home on a golf estate, there's a home for everyone on private property.